Hi everyone, this is Hannah, and I wanted to show you a couple of, um, of shares or hauls that I did. Um, I had bought some stuff on Etsy, I bought some stuff on scrapbook.com, and I also bought some stuff at Tuesday morning. Um, so I wanted to go over everything that I bought, and um, the first thing is... Um, there's a seller on Etsy, and her show it um, her shop name is Bow Bunny Planner, um, and she's really got some neat stuff. Um, she really, really does, and uh, I'm, I've got this over the label just to cover up the addresses. Um, but she really decorated the package so beautifully, just. It's so it's so cute how how she put all that and then I love this washi tape at the bottom I love that um, I carefully very carefully opened the package so that hopefully I can reuse this Manila folder in a journal um, so I bought some different things um, from her um, she carries different things like. Um, things for your planners, like charms for your planners. She carries some stuff for your junk journals. Um, so I bought uh, a couple of things here, and she has it tied in this beautiful ribbon. I love this ribbon. So these are some a vintage um, music sheets. Um, I don't. It's hard for me to find these. Um, I can go up to Goodwill and pick up vintage recipe books, vintage other kinds of books, um, but I can't ever find music. Um, so I thought, well, yeah, you know. And so I got a bunch of pages. Um, and then this was pretty cool. This is like a ledger um, piece of paper. That's really neat. <clears throat> and then these are some other things that she had put in there. These are some vintage pages. And then this is really cool. A little stamp. Wow, that's pretty neat. That's really neat. And I had ordered uh, two sets of the book, uh, the music sheets. Um, so let's take a look here. Okay, so here's some more. Just all kinds of neat, neat things. So just, and then another of these ledger. So that's really neat. And then these are some more vintage uh, book pages. And then here's another stamp. Uh, looks like it says 1974. Look, there's a, a, a post date, uh, postmark date 1974. That's, that's really neat. That is really, really neat. Okay. So let me move this aside. And then these were um, these were the uh, planner char charms that I got, or you can use them for your junk journal too. That's probably what I'm going to be using them for. So we got some different things. This is a band. This is really cool. This is a band that you slip onto um, the cover of your book. It's really, really pretty. Isn't that really pretty? Hey, Audrey, turn that down. I'm sorry about that. They're watching some videos today. Um, so, that is really pretty. That's really neat. That's all I can turn it. Okay, just go up just a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Thank you. So, yeah, that'll be really neat. You can put that on your junk journal, 
um, cover or the planner cover either way and that that'll look really really nice and then let's see here Okay, yeah, this is her business card, Bow Bunny Planner, and that's her shop name on Etsy, um, also on Instagram, too, and um, she's really a sweet person, she really is, and, um, and she's really got some neat stuff, see, I love this, see, I'll put this in my junk journal, and I like the colors, too, I think I'll even put it in my Christmas uh junk journal that I'm ever so slowly working on. Um, okay, and then here's this beautiful envelope with this washi tape here. I almost don't want to, it's like I want to be very careful. Well, uh, let's see here. Okay for me to eat this. Not in here, no. Got to go in the living room to eat that. Okay. Well, looks like I ended up ripping a little bit of it. Huh? But that is some really pretty washi tape. It's wintry. It's got the snow and the tree and a, um, a house. And then it's like on a lake where it has the reflection. You see the reflection. That is really pretty washi tape. I don't know where she got that. That's beautiful. I love washi tape. Um, as you know, I put washi tape in every one of my boxes, subscription boxes. I just, I love washi tape. Alright, so she sent this really sweet card and with a note um, in there. I won't read the note just in case if... Um, uh, you know, on the video, but thank you so much, Sydney. That's so sweet. But I'll, I'll, I'll read that later. So these are some neat little things here. These are the charms that I had ordered. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so. And it's on a lobster claw. Yeah, see, that is really, really neat. Um, and these can easily, um, she's got it on a paper clip. You could leave it on the paper clip, or you could put it on a lobster claw, or, um, oh, what's those things called? Like a fish hook, or, um, it's some kind of a fish hook. Um, so yeah, that would be, yeah, isn't that so pretty? which I love pearls you know that's kind of my my weakness is pearls <laughs> yeah I thought that blue was really pretty I don't know I might try to incorporate that into the Christmas uh, journal and then these are some really pretty clips that um, you know that you could put in your planner or your junk journal um, I will probably put them in my junk journal um, as I'm probably more interactive with those than the planners. The planners, to me, uh, my planner, I just jot down everything, like my agenda type stuff, my to-do list, and that's pretty much it. So, but yeah, these... Um, but if you're more interactive with your uh, planners, then these are great um, uh, for that. And a lot of people are. I'm not as interactive with it as maybe I should be. Um, and then this is really neat here. So she put it on... Um, okay, so this is just her business card. And she punched a couple holes to put the clips on. And then this looks like it's some washi tape. Oh, it is. That is so cute. It's got the little bows on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is so pretty. 
Yeah, thank you, Sydney, for all the extras. These are just cute, 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 cute. I can't wait to use these. So, yeah, definitely go check out her shop. Um, show her some love. You won't regret it. She's got all kinds of neat stuff. And, um, and let's see here. So, we got that. And, um... Let's do scrapbook.com next. So, as you know, Prima Christmas in the Country is like sold out. So, it was really, really hard to get my hands on it. Prima's sold out. Um, and they're not making any more. I mean, Christmas is in less than two weeks. So, um, but I saw it on scrapbook.com. And um, I bought it, I think it was Black Friday, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. So they were having some good sales. Um, and, and I had even bought something else on there earlier this week. And they're still having an extra 20% off on all Prima uh, products. And their prices are low. Really, they are. I mean, their prices are like my prices. I kind of price my stuff kind of low. Um, other shops, you know, see now the Prima paper pads are going for $25. Used to, they were $20. Now they're $25 at most places. Um, but I was able to get this for, I think it was like 16 bucks. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. And I also got the 4x6 note cards. I'm so excited about that. Um, got these cute flowers. I love these with the little spirally things. And the, um, the I guess you call that like a spray. Um, but yeah. Uh, and the different size flowers. I really like that. This I... I bought for a custom order deal and I will have some left over um, to make some extra uh, to make some extra kits um, so and then this is the chipboard I love of course I love chipboard you know but they've got some really neat ones and then these are actually Dar Sale, their collection that came out in September. This is the Say It in Crystals. Um, they were already sold out of the Say It in Crystals for the Christmas in the Country. Um, so, but I thought these were really pretty. Um, I don't know specifically if I'm going to use it for this kit or not. Um, but, and then also <coughs> with this order, if you place. Um, I think if you buy $25 or more, which, of course, this was more than $25, you get this as a free item. You also get a free 6x6 uh, six six paper pad, the Dulce Collection. Um, and I think that is, I think that's the newest collection um, that came out. Um, and um, so it's, so it's it's cute. I mean, it was it was free. So I thought, well, I'll do something with it. Um, not a hundred percent sure yet, but you you just never know. I'll come up with something along the way. But um, I thought that these were pretty cool. Uh, ink blending tool with domed foam applicators. Um, so I thought, well, hey, that's pretty neat. So, but yeah, so a great deal on all this stuff. Um, I paid, well, it doesn't show on the invoice here, but it was, I think, like 51 bucks for this stuff. And then I got these two things free. So, and that included the shipping. Um... So, and then I got it very quickly. Um, I think it was like in three or four days. So, that's that's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Um, 
And then let's get to the Pièce Résistance Tuesday morning haul. What? Oh, I'm just talking about the stuff I bought today. Uh huh. Are you okay. Going to wrap it? Uh, no, no, I'm not going to wrap it right now. They're used to me wrapping uh, boxes up for customers. So, okay, let's see. The first thing I wanted to get out of the way, I had bought this. It's a beautiful notebook. They have all kinds of neat stuff at Tuesday morning. Um, lots of great notebooks and stationery items. Um, they had a really neat item, but they only had one of it. If they would have had a bunch more, I would have bought them. But they were little cards and envelopes that were made from... Um, I don't know, it was like all natural material and it had a, um, like a, I guess you could say it was a leaf, but it was like the skeleton of the leaf. So you saw like the lines and the out, and it was, it was really pretty. Um, but this I had bought as a gift for someone, um, and so I thought that was pretty neat. And it's like the edges of the paper, it's like got the rose gold, beautiful. And um, let me see what see what the inside is. So see, it's it's just real nice and plain, pretty little flower on the edge. So that so that'll be a really a really nice thing. Um, let's see here. Where do we start? Um, stamps, of course. They've got stamps. Um, uh, let me go over some of the stuff that's going to kind of tie in with the Christmas in the country that we just looked at. Um, I found these cute little poinsettia flowers. These are by Petaloo. And um, I bought uh, three packs of them because I'm going to make three additional kits um, using the Christmas in the country. And so I thought these flowers would you know match really well with it um and then also this bow bunny it's just um you know cardstock cutouts is really what it is and these are so, you know the different pieces that you get so i thought that that would be really cute to use them with the kids um let's see these flowers are really pretty Oh, I just love these. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I might incorporate these into my Christmas junk journal. And, oh, as well as this washi tape, too. Look at this washi tape. Oh, I just love it. It's an American craft. Yeah, I like that a lot. So, and that's not bad, you know, four bucks for all these washi, washi rolls. That's not bad at all. And, um, let's see, something else I bought that was really neat. Um, this is kind of bohemian style. Um, I think it's mainly for quilting. <coughs> and, um, but it's really, really neat. And it shows you of the different um, pieces of fabric that it has in it. And you get, was it 20? Yeah, 21 pieces. So seven designs, three of each. And um, I want to do something with them. The first thing I thought of was like fabric flips for inside your journal. So I thought about something like that. And I might do that. Um, so I thought that would be really, really cool. So that's a project that hopefully I will get to. <laughs> so, um, and, oh, and that reminds me, since we're talking about fabric, since we're talking about fabric and I'm doing my hauls anyway, alright, let me interrupt. My Tuesday morning haul with this. Speaking of fabric flips, 
I want to make fabric flips using this gorgeous, gorgeous material. Gorgeous. And these would make uh, amazing, amazing fabric flips for your journals. They just really, really would. And I also picked up a couple of these too. I just love this type of stuff. You know, so I'll be uh, putting these in with the Christmas in the Country kit. In fact, I need to sit that out, kind of organize my stuff here. So, but I thought I would just, um, um, uh, interrupt for a second with that. Okay, so some other stuff that I bought. They have, and I guess I didn't realize it, um, but they have some really cool stamps at some really good prices. Um, this one, I already cut two of them out to put in some subscription boxes. Um, the, they were really pretty, uh, like doily. Um, like one almost looked like a kind of like an old timey handkerchief and then one was a real pretty doily so I already cut those to put in boxes um, this one is really pretty the reason why I got this one it has a lot a very similar stamps to the Georgia Blue stamp set and it's almost impossible um, to get my hands on that I wish that I had an extra one from when I did those boxes in August because that was the theme for the August boxes and I pretty much bought everybody out it's like whatever I could get you know I could get for the customer so like I cleaned Prima and these other companies out of what they had <laughs> so that I could fill the order um, and uh, so but these are very similar like the bike with the flowers um, and there were some other floral images with it. I thought that this was really cute. Hello, friend. And just some neat little stuff. This one's another one that's neat. <coughs> now, what I like to do, uh, typically with the mixed media boxes, I like to have a stamp like these. Because it just adds, um where you can add some texture because a lot of times with your mixed media um, you know you can stamp it and emboss it um, you know or just kind of put it in different places on your layout just to add um, something to it other than just like words you know so uh, but some of these other ones would be good for um, like this one I thought journaling or this one or even this one down here um, and then like these uh, for mixed media um, and then also I picked this up this was just a couple bucks and I picked um, you get one two three four I thought these were so neat um, like the airmail, and then this one's got uh, like an old-timey plane, and then uh, like postmark stuff. So I'll probably be using that in my Christmas journal. Um, some other things that I picked up. These are really neat. I've never seen these before. Um, it was two bucks, and you get a gold and a silver locket. So I thought, wow, that is really neat. Um, so I don't know. I got it because I thought about incorporating it into the journal. I don't know, but that would be cool, right? Um, these things here that I bought, these I bought these with the intent for the January boxes. Um, and it's kind of one of them things where I'm excited about the January boxes, but at the same time, it's like. I'm scared to announce it because I want to make sure it's all going to come together. Um, I'm wanting to um, put together boxes that are going to feature a collection that um, is really hard to get your hands on. And I am 
I'm using all of my resources to hopefully get my hands on this collection. Um, so, fingers crossed, we will see. As we get closer to the date, um, I'll let you know. I'm thinking, um, I'm trying to have the boxes go live, um, like right after Christmas. And then they'll probably ship the last week of Christmas. I think that's like the 30th, 31st. Um, so trying to kind of wait and see but I bought these these are just cute little tassel charms and I thought these would be so cute for the junk journals um, and it'll go perfectly with the paper collection I have in mind so I picked up those um, also this beautiful washi will pair really well with the collection so you're already kind of getting an idea of what the colors are um, so I'm super excited um, about it you know um, and as we get closer to the time um, you know then I can announce it uh, I'm waiting um, I'm waiting to hear back from Prima um, on what they have in stock um, so uh, they're supposed to get back with me by Monday so we'll kind of see we'll kind of go from there I'm trying to get my hands on a Prima collection that a lot of people want but haven't been able to get so fingers crossed fingers crossed <laughs> so but anyway that is all of the haul for now um, as you can see I got a bunch of great little goodies super excited can't wait to get crafting because um, I do need to finish up that junk journal so that I can um, upload that. Um, at least I hope I can upload it. I've been having such a hard time trying to upload the tutorials for that. Um, I'm having trouble with my Filmora editor. Um, just I don't, Then I was having trouble with YouTube. and So I'm like, I think I'm just going to take the pictures and just send out you know a batch email um, you know to my subscribers you know with the pictures and the instructions so I did that this morning and we'll see you know we'll see um, you know how that goes I'm hoping that that is that that is helping um, you know it granted if it goes in the inbox and not in your spam mail so um, but thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to, you know, get started using some of this stuff. Super excited. Um, I will be updating y'all um, as soon as I get um, the next um, video up or some kind of tutorial up on putting the pages together for the December Junk Journal box. Um, you know working on that um, and then so that'll be the next thing that goes up and then the next thing after that it will either be you know project shares on some other stuff that I've you know had a little downtime to make or it will be the announcement for the January box so fingers crossed um, I'll know Monday what I can get my hands on and from then, you know, I can announce, you know, what it's going to be. So, fingers crossed that I get the one I want because it would be super exciting for all of y'all. So, thank you so much and have a great weekend. Bye.